Tobias. How are you, my friend? Hi. Hey, so he's arrestable. All right, so Tobias, can you step out of the car? You're under arrest. You have an outstanding warrant for your arrest, okay? All right. I do not. I do not understand. Buddy, love you. Lord bless you, Tobias. Be strong. We love you. Be strong. Be strong, my friend. I love you. My brother. Is this what Canada has come to? You can do this to somebody who has been a faithful pastor. Be strong. Warning. Censorship. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. And it's true, I was just passing by. I have a flight to catch to Quebec City. I should go back to New Brunswick once again because um, hopefully the pastor who has been arrested there is going to be released. That's what I'm hoping. So finally that I could get an interview. I was going to interview him. He went inside the courthouse. First, everybody, his supporters surrounded him and they prayed for him. So I didn't want to disrupt. He went inside the courthouse but didn't, didn't unfortunately didn't make it back out, but this time hopefully I will catch it. It's incredible. I haven't uh, done an exact count, but I think we're close to 10 yes. Christian pastors. I think Alberta has about five. There was someone, a pastor in Manitoba who was imprisoned and now New Brunswick. I really don't know any other country in the world that's jailing pastors. I know places like China and other authoritarian regimes do jail Christian clergy, or even in some cases, other religions. Mm -hmm. But for Canada to jail coming up on 10 pastors, I really think that makes us unique in a bad way in the world. Yeah, and I asked to those pastors and their um, fellow pastors, where could they seek refuge if even the courts are not upholding the charter? And um, they say, well, it would be nice to seek refuge somewhere, but we have no other place to seek refuge but God. And um, that's sad to hear. And I see a lot of people smearing at them, saying, oh, they are super spreaders. It's because of them and justifying their arrest. But and even in an um, affidavit of a health bureaucrat who came to inspect one of the church services that was happening illegally, she said she felt too uncomfortable to go there because of COVID reasons. But there is no known um, any, any COVID case there. And at any of these churches whose pa pastors were arrested, there is no known or ev there is no evidence of any um, COVID case. But there is one evidence of a COVID outbreak in the CBC headquarters in Toronto. That's a great point. You know, um, Pastor James Coates at the Grace Victory Church in Edmonton, never a case, never an outbreak. And the health inspector said they brought police just for the delight of the media in that case. Arthur Pavlovsky, Justice Adam Germain, uh, said he was the problem. Again, ne never a case, never an outbreak. It's a bizarre kind of scapegoating as if these Christian pastors are unclean. And I should tell you, that's similar to the language used 70, 80 years ago by the Nazis to talk about about the unclean Jew. And I don't mean to be too dramatic. I'm just saying the last time we called an entire group of people unclean, we should marginalize them because they're unclean. That's, I mean, that's the language of dehumanizing someone. It's shocking. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.